What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Bianca Nero Zone for a packed show, a very <sighs> intense show with some very good news, some I mean, concerning news, uh, I'm going to call it uh, at this moment in time. Uh, there's a big update on Xerxy, uh, a massive update on Xerxy. We're actually not going to talk about Douglas Luiz in this video because that will sort itself out really quickly. It's almost a done deal. It's about details. Maybe while you're watching this video, the details have been sorted and it's a here we go. But that deal is expected to happen. Junior, McKenney, plus 50, 15, between 15 and 20 million to Aston Villa and Douglas Luiz to us. So that will deal will sort itself out. But there's a massive update on Zirixi. There's a strange update on Rabio. When I mean strange, it's actually ridiculous. And there is a a topic we need to discuss and that's uh and that's green mood uh but before we do that hit the like button subscribe as always and let's jump straight into uh the updates okay we start off with zirxi because this is coming from alfredo pedula and it, it's a massive update it's a it's a gigantic update um because we are talking with his agent now his agent is the same agent as Douglas Luis. So you can off the back can say, oh, maybe this is his agent using Juve because Milan doesn't want to pay the agent fee. And that's the issue right now. And Milan are uh, threatening basically to go for uh, the Girona striker and the, I think, Cunha. Uh, they're basically do, playing that type of game. So it could be all a game. But the way Alfredo Pedula worded it, I'm not going to assume it's a game uh, because he's saying that. They have contacts. Actually, they spoke about more than just what is the situation. Pedula is saying that the club, Juntili, waited specifically for this moment, you know, because he knew what was, was potentially was going to happen between them and Milan to swoop in and, you know, uh, play the, how do you want to say, like, find the middle ground and uh, to potentially close the deal. Now, Pedula also added that, obviously, uh, he has other offers from the Premier League as well, but he wants to stay in the in the Serie A. This will always de also depends on a player leaving, potentially Chiesa or Sule or both of them. He arise, he raised the question of Sule, uh, not Sule, excuse me, Flaovic. Could he leave? But he wants to stay, and Juve is happy with him to stay. And also his wages are big time, so you need to find a suitor who wants to take on this wages. So a lot of things, but the, the big point is that the Zirixi quote-unquote dream is not done. He also added that if Milan wake up tomorrow or today and they're like, okay, whatever, we're going to pay you the agent fee you're asking, then the deal is wrapped up as well. Then the deal will be done because I think the, the, or like Juve is too far away, not too advanced in talk. So that could be done to Milan really quickly. But the fact that we're still in for him is extremely interesting, like extremely interesting. And I hope it's true. Uh, because I'm going to talk about something later on, which I don't hope is true. Uh, but the Zirixi one kind of gives you hope a little bit, um, literally, because I like him, uh, especially if Monta is a coach. Um, I like the idea of bringing in Zirixi very much, even if Laufic stays. I said it stayed, I said it many times, um, even if you sign Douglas Luiz and Colt Miners, because I know people are like, oh, you can play him between uh, the lines and whatever. I like the idea of Zirixi and potentially... Uh, it's not over, you know, um, Juntoli is seeing what is possible, seeing if he can move on a, a Sule or a Chiesa, uh, probably not Chiesa, ASAP, you know, before the Euros, but he's trying to see what is possible, and this is a massive update, you know, even though he might go to Milan, it's an indication that Juntoli has planned certain things, and he has certain priorities, and he has certain beliefs in the market dynamics, not just from his own club basically or zone deals but also other deals so something to keep an eye on is what Pedula said let's see what will happen in the next couple of days like I said Milan can do it really quickly now the other update that's kind of linked and there is a Di Lorenzo update no we will talk about Di Lorenzo first because this is from Di Marcio no this is from Alfredo Pedula excuse me saying that he spoke with or like his agent spoke with Conte and the club and Conte said he's vital I want him to stay and his agent said it's not going to happen you know you can cry about it basically but Di Lorenzo made the decision that he's going to leave and he wants to leave to Juve uh, who he already has an agreement with but also the interesting part is that Pedula is saying that Chiesa is not so crazy idea that he could join Milan you know um, in Milan Napoli um, because 
that's what's out there, you know. Um, he also talked about his agent. Chiesa's agent spoke with Roma, and apparently Chiesa is intrigued by the project of Roma. I, I don't get it, you know. Uh, why? Uh, no disrespect to Roma, but, like, <laughs> it's not that we are in a situation right now to win uh, a Scudetto. We're far away from it right now, you know, based on what we saw last season. But for, for him to go to Roma, I'm, I'm so confused, you know, and the money, how is Roma going to pay that? You know, if you need to read the Roma papers, they have nothing, basically. So it's a strange situation, but the Chiesa one out is a real possibility right now, even for Di Lorenzo, because a Conte apparently thinks Chiesa is a vital, or could be a vital player to his new Napoli side. So it's going to be interesting. I still hope we keep Chiesa for a year. But then again, if you get a Zirixi and he changes everything up, I need to go with the coach. I need to trust what the coach does and what Juntil tries to do. I need to roll with it, basically. But the Chiesa situation is what it is. His potential leaving is a real, real, real possibility right now. It's not fake. It's not made up. It's it's a solid thing. You know, it's it's very possible because DiMaggio said that he gave a mandate, basically, to um, his agent to talk to Roma. Um, on top of that, he also um, told, basically, that he wants to wait into after the Euros, which also is a very worrying thing but Di Lorenzo I, I don't like Di Lorenzo I'm not a big fan of this I don't think he's a good defender and going forward it's nothing special so I, I I don't I don't get it I'm so confused with that one I, I just I don't want Di Lorenzo I don't rate him I never did and <clears throat> this is a deal where I'm like why why age the 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 transfer fee the wages he's on like the contract length I, I, I'm so so confused but that's out there now the weird update on Rabio is this one from Di Marzo, kind of out of nowhere, saying that it's not certain that he will renew. And actually, to top it off, um, you asked him about his contract, you know, what do you want to do? And he asked for more time. And actually, there have been no talks about his wages. When I heard that news, I'm like, you better be lying. You better be making this up. Because if this is real and we are keep being kept hostage by Rabiot, it's, a, it's one of the saddest days I've seen at this club. It really is. You know, the club should have told Rabio, we need to know this week. This is a wage. This is what you're offering. Yes or no. If you're not answering, you're gone. That's what the situation should be. Excuse me. We are waiting on Rabio like he's prime Zidane. He's not. Like, if this story is true, it's crazy. Like, it's actually crazy. And we talked about it many times, but we shouldn't be waiting on a player like Rabiot to make a decision. That's actually insane. It gets insane. It's frustrating. It really is because we are offering him a lot. Even if he says no, we know what the offer is. Everybody knows what the offer kind of is. But he asking for more time is just ridiculous. I'm sorry. And the club actually accepting that is even more uh, sad. But that's the situation. And that's very worrying and very weird. And to top it off, the news out there from Pedula and Di Marzo saying that Coop Miners is still the number one target. You know, that nothing has changed. A deal that will go slowly because Atalanta are asking for a lot of money. Uh, and we know the backstory. And we're basically signing Douglas Luiz could have could be done by this moment in time, you know. And you still want Rabiot to say, like, focus on the other things and rather than actually being on your knees and saying, please, Rabiot, stay on. Like, that's that's so weird. That's so weird. It's like, I don't get it. Like, I'm so, so confused by the news um, that I'm like, why are you waiting on Rabiot? Why? You know, this should be done before the Euro starts. It's actually crazy. But it's a reality, apparently. And Coop Miner is still the target. So let's see how that will go. I said it. That's a deal that will go on for a long time if we get it done. Now, probably the breaking news. Um, but I'm not... I don't, I don't want to... Like, I refuse to talk about this story about cream for months you know if people watch the channel i never mentioned it once on this channel uh because of obvious reasons uh dimarcio saying that we have an agreement with him uh he gave the priority to us we told manu we want him and that's you know and manu basically said okay we can talk right now uh they want 50 million euros yes 50 million euros and the club is willing to pay 30 million euros but it also depends on keza or sule leaving roma are interested in, uh, in both of them 
Um, again, like I, I want to again not talk about it because I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to act like this is real. Like I want to act like it's made up and that's not really the target. It's Zirixi. You know, that's a target or keeping Sule or keeping Chiesa is, a, is, a, is the idea. Because this is not about is Greenwood a talented player or a good player or whatever. And I don't even follow anything. You know, I saw what happened three years ago. When when was it? Two years ago. I have no idea uh, at this moment in time. What happened after somebody told me he got married with the same girl and, you know, have a child together. Like, it still happened. You know, it still happened. And the fact that he has not been charged. It's not. Like, it doesn't mean he's innocent. You know, the charges have been dropped, but like everything is out there. Like, it doesn't mean you're innocent. You know, it's just the charges were dropped. Otherwise, yeah, everybody knew what was gonna happen. So, I'm not. Like, I don't know why the club is doing this. I I don't get it. You know, the, the PR wise for the club. You know, just the the how do you want to call it the image of the club like why would you go through that like i don't i don't get it like why would you do that i'm actually so confused that i was i, I kept it uh, until the last one because i hope dimarcho is making this up i hope that this has been leaked out there for some reason but even though i know it's probably not leaked out for for that reason because it's so detailed the report that it, it's too detailed to be made up you know and Still, like the Zirixi one from Alfredo Pedula is like, yeah, that should be the one or keeping Kies or keeping uh, Sule. Like, this is not about money, you know, or about quality. This is about, you know, the image of the club right now. And again, like, I hope it's something that goes away really quickly. But the news story is very detailed. Like, it's not something that appears to go away really quickly. The only thing that counters it is uh, the... The Alfredo Pedula, Zirixi uh, type of story. So I don't know. Like, I'm going to leave it for now um, because, like, I, I tried to leave it uh, all summer long, basically, you know, or whenever the news popped up. Was it May, April? Um, and I'm going to leave it again and we will see how that will go. But, like, th why? Like, somebody needs to tell me why, you know? But that's it for this video. Uh, if you haven't liked the video, like it now. Let's push you 100 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will be live today with a Aston Villa podcast uh, or Aston Villa channel to talk about the Douglas Luiz potential deal, McKenny Jr., the money, what type of player Douglas Luiz is, you know, all that things, why the deal is potentially happening. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys uh, later tonight. Ciao.